video. We got something new in from Core Essentials. And if you've been watching my channel a little while back, I did a review on this Core EDC belt. And I have been wearing this belt every day since. I love this belt. Well, Core saw the video that I did for that belt. They reached out to me and said that they would like me to do a review on what's in this box. And what is in this box is the Core Battle Belt. So when I spoke to my rep over at Core, I told them that I didn't know if this would be a good fit for me because I'm not really one of those tactical guys. I don't have plate carriers and all that. And a lot of guys that are wearing these belts have multiple mag carriers on there for their handgun and their AR. And a trauma kit on the back. And I told them I'm just... Don't do that type of thing on my channel. But I did say that I was a USPSA shooter. And the belt that I have, I'm not real happy with. So we discussed it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to make this my USPSA belt. So when I'm shooting PCC division, I will be carrying two mag carriers on this. And if I'm shooting carry optics, I will be carrying three mag holsters and the holster for my handgun. So let's look and see what all we got in this box. Alright, we've got the inner belt. This is wrapped up in plastic. I'm probably not going to use this. There is tons of videos on YouTube right now how to set up these belts to use them for a battle belt. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be using this for USPSA. This is the main belt. Inside of here ratcheting buckle whatever you want to call it this works the same as my core edc belt got your lever here get your lever pull it out and how these core belts work you see these teeth in here that's how they lock on this belt works the same got your teeth right here on this end and this is your end we're going to put this on and we're going to do that real quick here in a sec inside the bag we've got our allen wrench to tighten that down got some extra screws got a little tape measure thing in here we've got a belt keeper to go around the belt and we also have this which will clip on this once we get this cut to length and one other thing I thought was really cool they threw in this is an optional item your wrench for your belt you can put on here and this ratchets on to that and you can hang your belts up in your closet which i think is pretty cool all right now when i shoot uspsa i will be wearing this belt to hold up my shorts that i'm wearing in a match and this battle belt is going to be used to go over top of my jersey and over top of this belt to carry my mag carry so 99 percent of the time in uspsa i am shooting pcc so i'm only going to be carrying my two mag carriers on here so when i'm done shooting i can take this belt off and put it back in my little wagon that i carry all my stuff in i don't have to wear this belt all day that's why i'm not going to be using the inner belt i got this cut to length where i want it And I took a lighter 
and went across this. And like I said, there's tons of videos out there to tell you how to do it. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to loosen these screws up. I'm going to test this before I put the other piece on. Get these out on there, the screws loosened up. Alright, you take your that, goes back. Slide this in. Okay, it's all the way up in there. You can see that. I'm going to lock that down. Now I'm going to try it on and make sure it works. Alright, it was still a little too long. I'll cut it again. And we're going to lock this down again. Try it on again. And we're going to lock our screws down. That's what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so I'm going to turn this inside out so I can show you. Take your end, and it works just like my EDC belt. And we're going to hit the lever and loosen it. So this is the belt I've been using in the USPSA. And I don't like this because it's just Velcros. So I've got to try to pull it as tight as I can and then push the Velcro together. So Now these are my mag carriers. These are the Coda Evolution. These are for 33 round block mags. Alright, so these mag carriers are set up to go on a 1.5 inch belt. So we're going to take these spacers out so they will work with this belt. Now it'll fit a two inch belt. All right, now we're going to fit these to the core battle belt. And I want to apologize, I keep calling this a two inch belt. It's a 1.75 inch belt, which means we got to put one of these spacers back in. And that's fine, they just snap in just like that. All right, so the belt, I need to put these on like so right, so there's my first carrier all right we go right on there perfect all right now they will slide a little bit and that's what i want because i do adjust them once in a while during the match some guys like them locked down nice and tight me, I like to be able to move them a little bit. Alright, we're going to put our other spacer back in. Alright. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to lock them down. Alright, so there's the back side. They're all locked in. There's what they look like. On the side. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to keep these on my right hip and that's what my PCC rig is going to look like all right now we're going to set it up for how I'm going to carry it and carry optics Got the same setup here took one out right. I'm left-handed so my holster is going to be over here on this side and we're going to lock that in get this positioned where I want it all right I got my works holster on for my PDP Pro and my Streamlight TLR1 HL got my mag carriers on 
for my 18 round PDP mags. I got my PDP Pro in the holster. With the mag carriers are on. And we are ready to take this to the range and do some testing. Be shooting a couple different videos with this. Um, got a match coming up here in about a week and a half. A little under a week and a half. And we're going to run one match with carry optics and run one match with PCC. And then we'll come back and do a second video and talk about what I think about this belt as far as competition use goes. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.